Hello everyone and welcome. If you enjoy live performance or if you have multiple devices that you like to play together in sync, then I have really good news for you because in Cubase's 3.4, we now have Ableton Link. So now Cubase's on iOS and Android supports Ableton Link. That means that I can have multiple devices, be it iOS devices like an iPhone, an iPad, Android devices, hardware devices like this Akai MPC Live 2 that I have right here, and even desktop devices all in sync and all running at the same time. So let me show you how it works and how you can set it up. Right here, I have three devices running Cubases, and they all have a different project loaded. As you can see, I have an iPhone, an iPad, and an Android device. Let's play what we have on the iPad first. So as you can see, we have a nice loop going on in there. We have a piano, we have the classic machines with some hi-hats, and we have an eight bar loop. Now let's play back what we have on the iPhone. And a nice lead right there. And let's try the Android as well. Tape flute and some nice percussion there. Now, let me show you how you can activate Ableton Link in these devices. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Setup, I'm gonna to go to MIDI, and you will see that we now have Ableton Link right there. So I can go to Settings and turn it on. And as you can see, we can also decide if Ableton Link will sync the start and stop of my project. So you have the choice of starting the project with Ableton Link or just syncing. Now, let's go and activate this on the iPhone. I'm going to go to MIDI, settings, turn it on. And you will see that immediately we get this green bar, which means that we have two links. So two devices are synced right now with Ableton Link. Now let's do the same thing on our Android tablet. Set up, MIDI, Ableton Link. And now we have three devices linked. And now check what happens when I hit play on one of the devices. I'm going to hit play on the iPad. So as you can see, the playback starts, but also everything is in sync. And if I change the tempo of one device, the other ones will follow. Let's do that. So as you can see, everything is in sync. Even when I change the tempo, everything is smooth. Everything is playing as it should. And as you can see, this is a completely wireless setup. I don't need to have cables going between all these devices. They're all connected to a network and they all sync together. Even the Akai that I have right here. And I'm going to show you how you set it up right now. So now we have all these three devices connected. Now let's connect the beautiful Akai MPC Live 2 that I have right here. So of course, all I need to do is activate Ableton Link with Akai. I'm going to go to MIDI Sync and I'm going to make sure that Sync Receive is set to Ableton Link. And that's it. That's the setup. As you can see, it's basically just turning it on on every devices. You activate Ableton Link and then all devices sync. So let's see what I have here on my APC Live 2.
So that's great. Now I'm going to start playback on all three devices using Ableton Link, and then I'm going to introduce the Akai MPC Live 2. I'm going to use Note Repeat, which of course it will be in sync, and I'm also going to trigger some chords here live on my iPad using the new core buttons that we have in Cubasis 3.4. Let's do this. And it also goes without saying that you can also sing AU instruments with Ableton Link and Cubasis. Let's try it! So this is a lot of fun, I have to tell you, with Ableton Link, Cubasis really becomes a powerhouse for live performance and for syncing up any device that's Ableton Link enabled. You're going to have loads of fun with this, so enjoy, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.